Hey guys, TV One here, and today I'm back here with you guys for part six of Americans Will Buy Anything by The Joker Speaks of Top 10 More Super Commercials. So, this is basically the uh, last part of the uh, specific series, and I'm going to be doing a playlist of Americans Will Try Anything, probably by the same user, The Joker Speaks, again. So, credits to him. Um, so, anyways, we're going to get this video started, and we're back here with Biggie, Biggie 726 again. Hey. So, don't forget to subscribe to Biggie's World, don't forget to check him out. Uh, also, don't forget to check out the, the Joker Speaks and check out some of his videos as well. So, anyways, let's get this video started. Decorating your now, that is just a hard-working house right there. Now, that is just some hard work right there. Oh, and builds Christmas excitement for your whole family. But putting up decorations takes so much... Actors. Boo. Much time. It's sometimes dangerous. There's a single gutter hooks that you can hang up on your gutters. I don't know if you guys have them. I don't know if some of you guys have them, but stop. And can send your electric bill through the. Who in the world has an outlet on the roof? Roof. Or is it just me? Sing door delights. Boo! You just showed a good-looking house, and I have to bring up these. Crappy magnets right here that you, they're just pointless and useless and the only and the only thing they do is just show up some decoration and just are just for lazy people. Honestly, this is for lazy people who don't really feel like putting up their decorations and such. To, honestly, this is Biggie's hobby right here, putting up decorations every Christmas yes. and putting up so much. And honestly, we went to an East Side sale one time and we bought like so much Christmas decorations. It was worth it. It was like each of them cost like one dollar. We got only got them for like I don't know. Nine, ten dollars, it was worth it. Decorations like never before. They're the ultimate magnetic holiday decor. Door delight. You call that ultimate? Wow. Well, wait until you see like Christmas uh, garages wrapped it up in Christmas presents and such. Seconds to stick. You should not, you should sm not be smiling. You should be ashamed of yourself because you only put up one useless magnet. Is useless because of you because you don't even know how to decorate your house properly. Door delights will make you feel proud. Maybe in your opinion, yes. Oh, your garage door will draw a crowd. You call that a crowd? It is a Toyota Tacoma in the background. Oh, neighbors will be in awe. Some of them will. Oh, your garage decor. Bending over to put your shoes. Okay, why don't you sit down and put your shoes on? Son, it's a back-breaking chore. One wrong step, you could end up on the floor. Who in the world has to bend their knee and just hop on one foot? It's like you're doing the hype dance from Fortnite, man. And trying to get them off can hurt even more. Okay, this dude needs to stop talking like a witch. Oh, well, now the shoe dini. Okay, you can stop talking like a witch, and why is that to be called shoe dini exactly? Shoe horn that lets you get your shoes on and off with ease. Get Shoe Dini right this second. Come on, please. Who in the world begs their purse, their, uh, their viewers, to buy a freaking infomercial product? These people are idiots. It's not just a shoe horn, it's a shoe horn on a stick. Wow. Has your toilet ever been bunged up or backed up, tired of lunging and plunging, only to get a face full of you know what? Uh, who goes that low into a plunger? Hi, Anthony Sullivan here for the pushover plunge. Hi, Anthony Sullivan here for the pointless plunge. The powerful plunger that'll easily unblock any toilet, guaranteed. It works like a bellow. Just put it between the seat and the porcelain and give it a push. It clears the clog, gets your flow to go. That's the power of the pushover plunge. So it looks kind of useful, but I mean an emergency. I'm staying at a friend's house, and I accidentally clog the toilet. But thank goodness I had my pushover plunge. Shut up, Thought. Who in the world brings up a uh, plunger to a friend's house? Who brings a plunger to a friend's house? Odd. It was fast and easy, and it saved me the embarrassment. My barbecue nights used to turn into a toilet nightmare. These but people the are actors. Plunge, my toilet troubles are gone. Clap on, clap on, clap on, clap on. Oh, look at that. We have another vintage commercial from the 80s. 
The clapper is actually useful. For yeah, I mean, it, I mean, it's useful if you if you can't afford if you cannot afford Amazon Alexa, the clapper is for you. If you cannot afford if you cannot afford Amazon Alexa for lights off and lights on, afford the clapper. Because Clapper is like really cheap and you can actually get it and it's like kind of useful. I first thought my geography teacher actually had a uh, had the uh, Clapper. I went over to um, that one outlet thingy, I started clapping on and off and then it didn't work sadly. But this is actually a useful product if you can't afford Amazon Alexa or Google Home or something like that. Let you turn things on or off from anywhere in the room. Surprisingly, most of these commercials on this entire series have, are actually vintage commercials, not new ones. I think the newest one in this entire list product so far is either Pushover Plunge or Door of Delights, I think. Just plug in the clapper and the television, the lamp, stereo. Wow. Okay. Old ladies. She looks like the old lady that says, Where the beef? where's the beef at? Beef, I think. Almost anything you want to clap on and off. Wow. On. Good idea if you want to turn on your lights on and off with ease. Wait, for Christmas lights this year, we can actually get a clapper and just clap them on and off, and that way we can just turn the lights with ease. I'm just kidding now. But it's for Android use only, sadly. On, clap, that's, an, that's, a, that's an aggressive clap right there. What's all the talk about? It's the Floby haircutting system. That's how people, is that how people get their haircuts without going to the salon? Why don't you use that razor thing you know was shown before the exercise bell part two, on uh, part two. Tens of thousands have been sold to satisfied customers. Why? Because it really works. Does it really work? The only thing that, the only thing that works is your stupid brain. Everything else is pointless. The Floby cuts your hair from a half inch to six inches. There was actually a movie about this one time. I don't know what it was called. Before the it was Floby, like 1990. Only a skilled professional could produce a good layered haircut. But now, the Floby ensures a perfect layered haircut with very little skill. In fact, actors. Act now you can have the same exact haircut time after time. If you would like to give your family the gift of warmth, we're going to. Maybe this could be the latest commercial on this entire series telling you how to get in on the free miracle heater giveaway and never be cold again the cost of heating your home has gone through the roof um you'll still have to pay money for your electricity bill but families across america are slashing their heating bills with the exciting new amish custom built heat surge fireplace and can it, it can only fit one room man what about all the other rooms and what about all the other rooms and, and such why don't you get two of those man wooden mantle proudly no. made by amish craftsmen in the heartland of america meet real families across america who are actually using heat surge to stay warm while saving big money on their heating bills if you buy it you'll be just like me it's the best buy you ever made i'm not getting paid to say any of this you're about to be mesmerized yes, it's here it's wild it's sweeping the nation it's fujiji fuji fujiji whatever it's called what is that? That's supposed to be aerodynamic. Fushigi, like I don't know what it is, but it's the coolest thing ever, and I can do it. Hi, I'm Tim Goey, and this is Fushigi. With a little practice, you can conquer Fushigi. This is so amazing. I think it's fabulous. I get it now. So how did this mask do that? Well, if you can get the idea of what doing right. eight setups a we second would do for your stomach. You have an idea of what we're doing? Cringe coming. Your Cringe warning. What the? Oh my god. These people are idiots. Dude. This is definitely a crappy vintage commercial that people do not know how to use your heads because these people are idiots and these are pointless people. They're lazy and they're pointless and they're useless. Listen to this creepy music. This proves that this is a bad product. So we like to say that's a lot of face-ups. This is doing it eight times a second. That is terrifying. What the? <laughs> Who does that? Who in the world wants to put a bunch of nails on the back of a mask 
and make people have seizures on their head, on the, I mean, on their face. Honestly, pointless. I have no idea what they were doing. What are these people thinking? What? What was that? Flashing lights? First, there was the transistor radio, then the headphones. Now, there's Music Fest, the only fashion and personal sound systems currently sweeping the country. <laughs> music Fest. <laughs> this, is, this is a really confusing vest right here. It's confusing, it's sort of useful. I it is kind of useful, but really confusing at the same time. Who wants to go in public and listen to a bunch of speakers on their freaking vest and their on their clothes, and then people are going to be really confused on why are you wearing speakers on your vest and yada, yada, yada. Oh, look at that, Schamburg, Illinois. 200 North Mar Martin Martin Jail, Schamburg, Illinois, 60198. Thank you, Na National Cadillac Inc. Incorporation. Thank you. Quality stereo music wherever you go, whatever the weather. With Music Fest's waterproof speaker system, you can enjoy your favorite music, whether you're exercising, riding, golfing, fishing, or just hanging around. Music Fest is both elegant and versatile. Be the leader in your crowd. Order your Music Fest today. Oh, they didn't even have a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Discover card yet. Barrington, Illinois. All these commercials are in Illinois. Hi, it's Vince with Sham Wow. Hi, it's Vince with Sham Wow. Hi, it's Vince with Crap Wow. That's what you should be ashamed about. I don't even know what these products are. I don't even know why in the world this person even put these, these Vince Offer memes on this, on this, uh, list. You'll be saying wow every time you use this towel. More like, sh more like shampoo. And ladies, you always wanted to stick it to your husband. Now you can. You're gonna love my nuts. Watch this. Almonds, walnuts. It's so easy. One Slap finger. Chop. You can do it with one finger. You guys can do it with your whole hand. Sweet lovers, pull out your wiener and put it right in your bean. This two hundred dollar food process is like a jigsaw puzzle. It's like too bulky. Where the heck are you gonna put this thing? Wow, is that how you get arrested, Vince Offers? Vince Offer? Quickie? I got what you need. New Quickie from Canada Green. You're going to have a new lawn in just a few days. And for those unwanted guests. Hey, Vince! Oh, you're playing with your sticky. I'm sorry. All I can say is sham wow. Sham wow. Anyways, that is all the video stuff of the entire series. Hope thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, like, like, we comment, subscribe, and all the guys. And that'll be the end of the Americans Buy Anything series. Next series, Americans Try Anything. So, anyways, that's all I have to for today. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next uh, series. Bye.